<laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> uh, Kaylee, um, when I first saw you, I said to myself, that's the kind of woman I am going to marry. Amorcito, as I see here, uh, waiting to get ready, <clears throat> I was reminiscing about all these years and everything that we've gone through, <clears throat> and it's hard to get emotional. I had so many emotions combining to this big one moment. You are so amazing and are such a blessing in my life. You made my life full. I still think I'm dreaming anytime I am next to you. Being away from you, even for just one moment, it's like a part of me is missing. Time may come and go, we may fight, be in disagreement, or we may be happy, but the only thing that will always be steady is my love for you. I love you more than chicken and waffles or the world could find. My heart is just full and it beats with the sight of you. I just wanted to take this quiet moment to reflect on you, how much I love you and how much you mean to me. I love you always, Danny. And it was such a joy for me to hear the story of these two families coming together and having such great, on both sides, examples of sacrificial love, stories of moms and dads that worked through hard times and grandparents that had legacies of selflessness and patience and, and, and endurance and perseverance. So I just wanna say, you know, just, it's been a joy for me to spend time with this couple and to kind of get to know some of you out in the crowd that have been watching these two. As we stand here on our wedding day, my heart is overflowing with joy, love, and gratitude. We have been blessed with so many amazing things in our lives and throughout our relationship that I almost cannot believe it's real. When I first talked to you and got to meet you, I said to myself, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> well, here we are. <clears throat> um, they say, ask and you should receive. And I was blessed with more than I ever imagined. I'm eternally grateful for you entering my life and making it so much better. When we met, you found me among the chaos. You committed everything you had to me that very first night and I could feel it. I was terrified to fall for you and I put you through the ringer to avoid it, but you never gave up on me. You knew. As we continued to grow in our relationship, the chaos seemed to clear. But what I didn't know back then was that the chaos never really ends. I had just finally found the one I needed to keep me grounded. I love your character, your selflessness, <laughs> and willingness to give, and that beautiful smile that brightens up the day. You're an incredible person, and I'm blessed to live this life with you. I love you for everything that you are and have always been for me. My best friend, my support, my encouragement, my adventure, my headache, and all of it. <laughs> On this day, July 14, 2018, I promise to keep loving you unconditionally. I promise to trust you and respect you. I promise to always be faithful. I promise to be your biggest fan and support you in accomplishing your dreams. You see me for who I am and love my insecurities away. I'm so proud of the man that you are and I truly believe that you make me a better person. Hey babe, oh my God. You look amazing. Oh man, sorry. Oh wow. Oh wow, oh my god, you look great. Oh my god. Ugh. All right, oh my god, you look great. Look at you. Do your tutorial. Oh man. We know that marriage has its roots in, in Scripture. We learn that, that the, the wife in Ephesians 5 is called to submit to the husband. And while that doesn't sound very fun sometimes, um, that she should, 
she should submit. This is a reason because marriages are a picture of our relationship with God. God, who loved us so much and gave everything for us, calls the church his bride. And so this picture today is a picture, it's the beautiful picture that God has given us um, of two people who are committing to each other forever in the same way that God unconditionally loves us through all the mess and through all of that. And we've learned that. We also know sometimes the word submit maybe doesn't seem easy with some of us husbands. And so some of us husbands need to learn from Ephesians 5 that we're supposed to love our wife like Christ loved the church, which was ultimate surrender and sacrifice. Everything he did from the moment he was born on this earth in a manger and in, in a place where animals would be, be feeding um, to the moment that he would give his life on a cross, everything was about service and surrender and sacrifice to those around him. And that's your job, to be a leader worth submitting to. That's the picture that we have in the, in the Bible of what this means. Daniel, I promise that as long as I'm alive, you will never be alone. You will never have to doubt your worth or wonder if you are loved. I promise I'll always be honest, kind, patient, and forgiving. That through everything we face in life, you will feel my support and encouragement. I promise uh, to laugh with you on the good times, cry with you on the sad times, and grow stronger together on the tough times. I promise to celebrate our differences and never stop pursuing you or learning about you. I promise to make our family's love and happiness my priority, and above all else, I will always keep God at the forefront of our relationship as He is our foundation for it all. I promise to keep God as our foundation. I promise to, I promise to never give up. And lastly, I promise to always take that moment to tune out all the noise, focus only on you, and tell you I love you. There's nothing that we cannot face together, so on this day, with my whole heart, I take you as my husband. Acknowledging and accepting you exactly who you are. I choose to love you and only you today, tomorrow, and all the days that follow. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever life may bring. Well, as much as Daniel and Kaylee have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this congregation, and have given and pledged their vows to each other, and have declared the same by exchanging of rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Kiss your bride. <laughs> and it is my pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Artiaga. May of 2013, and I got this right, it was May 5th. The afternoon of my graduation, or my college graduation, my phone rang, and it was Daniel. He calls me, he says, hey, for your uh, party tonight, is it okay if I bring a friend? And I said, sure, I don't even know why you ask. Go ahead. So that evening, that's the evening that I met Kaylee, and I know it was a life-changing moment. Uh, the old Daniel that I used to know faded away, and a new one emerged. And I've seen him grown, I've seen both of them grown together, uh, and I've seen him change for the better. And um, I bear witness to his perseverance to fulfill his goals, his love, respect, and dedication for, for Kaylee is being truly an inspiration to me. And uh, I've seen them both become better versions of themselves, and I think it's because they've built a relationship upon the pillars of God, family, love and friendship. Love isn't perfect, 
It isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on, and never letting go. It is a short word, easy to spell, difficult to define, and impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, every second of it was worth it because you did it together. Please raise your glass to a toast to the bride and groom. Thank <laughs> you.